we got Matt on the phone. He's from Yes Theory, and he literally didn't just trick the internet. You and like a few other people really fooled the entire planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how that, how does that feel right now? Uh, to be honest, it feels totally surreal because we had we never thought it would get so big. It, it got way, way, way bigger than we ever expected. So I can't even believe it. It is happening. By the way, we were talking about it, and everybody knows about it. It's the Justin Bieber picture of him eating a burrito sideways. Mm-hmm. Everybody fell for it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody thought this photo was legitimate, including us at a certain point, even though we did bring up the idea that it could be fake. Oh, I thought it was 100% real. I had no reservation about it at all. <laughs> the world's talking about it. The most legitimate news sources in the world are discussing it, and in reality, it was created by you yeah what motivated this like what was the actual goal here was it to fool everybody was it to prove something well it's something we, we it, it's been done before by jimmy kimmel and nathan for you and and both times they did it it was so hilarious but i think uh beyond it being fun and hilarious and, and like a, a total experience i think it's just also to prove a point to be a little bit skeptical of everything you see in the media especially if it's bashing somebody for doing something weird or out of character. It's like, it's more of like telling both our audience and whoever watches the video, like think twice before you judge, especially online. Uh, And meanwhile, while we sort of spread that idea to also just like go at the media a little bit, who who tend to make up a good amount of stories a lot of the time. So it's kind of like flipping it on its head and and kind of fooling them for once, which was kind of fun. (laughs) So the whole experience was just, yeah, uh, was just both, Fun and a little bit more profound than just like a than just a prank because we we definitely don't want to be considered pranksters for something like this. It's not what we really do. There's usually an underlying theme behind everything we do. Were you surprised by the lack of fact checking and verification that goes on before any news source goes and posts something? Yeah, well, I, to be honest, that was the most surprising thing because we, if you look closely, it, it really does not look totally like him. So we thought, like, when we posted, we were like, okay, it's maybe one, one media outlet will pick it up and, and it'll be funny. But I think what happened was, like, once it was legitimized by one news source and by, like, Reddit in general, people didn't even question it. Like, they, had, they didn't even feel a need to fact check because it had already, it seemed like it, it had already been fact checked. And I feel like we see that a lot in media, you know, where you just read an article and it sounds true, but you don't actually take the time to fact check. Uh, when the writers themselves didn't even fact check check it. So, yeah, it was pretty hilarious. It's weird, even down to photo rights. Like, were you the guys taking the photo and then selling it to these news outlets to use? Yeah, Vanity Fair was the only one that asked for the photo and, like, its it's legitimacy and whether they could use it. But I think a lot of the others just kind of copied other news sites and just, like, copy and pasted it or took it from Twitter where people had put captions on it and used that. So, yeah, we, we were never asked to be paid or... Like, whether it was okay to use, I think it's just how it works online. It just spreads and, and nobody asks for permission. They just kind of do it, you know. To them, it was to their own demise, which was the funniest part. It was like, they posted it, but they're the ones that ended up being the butt of the joke at the end of the day. So, it's kind of funny. <laughs> what do you think you've taught them in this? I think, if anything, they've taught us, like, I don't think this is going to end anytime soon, like the media just picking up on something and running with it right away. I think it's just taught us to be more careful about what we read and what we see, um, because that's just how the media works. Like, it's just going to continue. Like, they'll get over this and then move on to the next thing and it'll likely happen again. But I think that's just the news cycle. Because they need content and they need clicks. And even if it's fake, even if it's not real, that's the first thing that matters to them. So if they can get that, then they're happy. Why Justin Bieber? Why was he the one that you wanted to replicate? Good question. So uh, there was this guy named Brad Souza yeah. on Instagram. We found him somehow randomly through a friend, and he looks freaking identical to Justin Bieber. No, 100%. Like if you look at some of the pictures, yeah, it, it, it's uncanny. And we saw the Instagram, and we were like, right away, we have to fly this guy out, and whatever it is we do with him, it has to be a Justin Bieber thing. And I feel like nowadays with Justin Bieber getting married to Haley and like all this you know, it's just a constant, like he's always being chased by the paparazzi. Yeah, you it's say nowadays, you mean like his life. Dude, and that was the craziest thing, like actually doing the research into how to like emulate the, the look of like Justin Bieber. It's like we were watching videos on YouTube of him being just chased down by paparazzi over the, like, like, like you said, the last 10 years. And it's just kind of sad. You're like, damn, poor guy. Like he doesn't really get to live his life, you know. 
Have you guys heard from Justin Bieber yet? No, we, we've talked with Scooter, his manager, uh, and Scooter called us the night it happened, like the night the photo was going viral. And he was like, all right, I'm not going to tell anybody, like, I'll play with it. Like, I won't say anything. And we were like, dude, thank you so much. And we were trying to get Justin to be at the end of the video and be like at the actual Justin Bieber just eating the burrito sideways. <laughs> um, like to finish, to close the episode, we thought it would be hilarious. But it was, just, we asked scooter and he he went to ask justin but it was all too last second i just didn't fit in the schedule but we're hoping like because we know scooter quite well we're we're hoping to meet justin soon and maybe do something with him Uh, i think that would be pretty funny after all this did scooter originally fall for this or did he post it to add fuel to the fire uh i think it, it, it it was neither actually it was more to find out who was doing it so he posted it trying to get some hints of who it was and as soon as he did uh our manager zach who knows him was like dude it was me. It was, our, it was us. So he took it down and then, like, played along uh, and just didn't say anything. How much did this whole prank cost you guys? Because you had to buy, like, plane tickets. You had to buy the wig, the whole outfit. Uh, honestly, not too, too much because at the end it was just, like, a burrito and a, and a little bit of, like, a, an H&M sweater. And the flight was, like, 400 bucks. It was no more than 1000 bucks. And, like, for the publicity it got, it definitely it was definitely worth, uh, definitely worth the cost. Is there anything you do differently looking back? I would say I think we, if we really, really wanted to truly, like, explode it, it would have been, we would have put, like, a contact in the Reddit post to be like, if you have any questions about this, like, hit us up. Because a lot of news outlets just didn't know who to reach out to when, when it went viral. And some of them found us, like, like, very, very randomly. But most of them couldn't find anybody to, like, quote or ask questions to. And uh, so, yeah, we would have definitely put a contact there for people to reach out to. But don't you think that helped you? If they had the opportunity to verify it, maybe they would have never posted it. True, too. You know, who knows? When anything viral, you like, it, it's like a, a very random formula that nobody can really crack until it happens. And like for us, it just worked. And it was very, very lucky. Like it was just one try and it worked. So I think virality is a very difficult thing to actually like put together and succeed at. Um, I think we just got also very, very lucky. What do you realize about Justin Bieber through this whole thing? Uh, the poor dude, he's eating a burrito sideways and the, the media goes crazy. Like anything he does, anything that's a little off, it's just like everywhere. To me, it's just like, how do you live your life? Like, it, I think the reason he hasn't responded is because he's so used to like the media going crazy over whatever he does. So he's just like, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's just part of his life. So I don't know. I feel honestly kind of bad, but at the same time, I'm sure he's used to it by now. Would you say this is the most viral thing you've ever done? Yeah, by far. Keep saying yes, please. I love the message of your entire channel. It's really, it's inspiring. Good, man. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Anytime, all the time, man. Have a beautiful time in New York City. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.